The raw materials for Sekishu Banshi is Kozo. Kozo is cultivated in the region. Sekishu Banshi made of Sekishu Kozo is well known as the strongest washi in Japan. Branches used as raw materials are usually harvested from December to January. The branches are cut off at an angle with a sickle. The harvested branches are press cut, named Oshikiri, to one meter. The branches are steamed in a process called seiromushi, a task easily done by a few people. Seiromushi makes it easy to strip the branches off the bark. The roots of the branches are beaten by hand to help separate the black bark from the branches. Wedging the branch between her feet, the paper maker strips the bark from the branch. The peel bark carves into a cylindrical shape. The stripped black bark is tied up in bundles to be wind dried. When adequately dried, the bark is stored. After the black bark is softened in water, each piece of bark is put on the stand and its outer layer is carefully scraped off with a knife. To maintain the quality of the kozo, paper makers leave the endocarp, an inner layer between the outer and the inner layer intact. The bark is removed from the bundles and boiled in a large cauldron containing a 12% alkali solution. The bark is boiled for 2 hours to prevent disparities between the top and the bottom layers and turned every 30 minutes. Then the bark is steamed. The boiled bark is individually inspected and placed in water and impurities are carefully picked out by hand. The bark is beaten with an oak stick to loosen the individual fibers. According to tradition, the paper maker beats the bark six times to the right and left and six times up and down. A water paper pulp solution and toro aoi are put into a vat and evenly mixed with a bamboo stick. There are three steps to make Sekishu Banshi Kazushi Choshi And the mizu.
kazushi. The mixture is quickly scooped from the vat onto a mat. Choshi. The mat is shaken back and forth, spreading the solution evenly over the screen to entwine the fibers and create layers. Stemizu. When the layers have the desired thickness, the excess water and paper solution are drained off the fibers. After the water has been drained off, the washi sheets are moved to paper beds. The sheets are piled one by one onto paper beds. After leaving the sheets on paper beds overnight, weights are added to press out the remaining water. When the water has been pressed out, the sheets are separated one by one. The damp sheets are brushed onto white boards. The sheets are sun dried outdoors. While the washi is drying, it acquires its proper stiffness and beautiful appearance. After the sheets have dried, they are carefully inspected. Any sheet with tears, holes, shrinkage, a bad surface, or an uneven thickness is rejected. Washi that has been chosen in the final selection process is cut to make various paper products. The technique of making sekishu banshi was deemed juyo muke bunkazai, an important intangible cultural property, in 1969.